So we're here at ST Ericsson and uh, you have the U4500 yes. for, for entry level ARM Cortex A9 phones. Sure. So how soon is that going to be in the market? So basically the U4500 goal is to provide the experience of a leading edge I would say uh, early 2000 phones, you know, and bring that to the mass market. So, uh, for example, uh, Nexus One, it was a leading phone in early 2010. Our target in 2012, when it will be in mass volume, is to bring them to the mass market. So, the target is uh, a kind of like a Nexus One for less than $200? Yes, and we even that? expect to go below $100 in uh, over time with these kind of phones. But isn't it actually faster than the Nexus One? It's ARM Cortex A9. It's ARM Cortex A9, sure. However, our clock frequency is a little bit less. We expect to have better performance than uh, Nexus One, but uh, I would say the user experience will be in the same range as the Nexus One. This is our goal, you know. But I was significantly more optimized, more integrated on lower cost solution. You said low f frequency? Yes, today we are running at 600 megahertz on this yeah. uh, Cortex A9, and we expect that this is uh, equivalent or even a bit more than what uh, Nexus One was providing uh, um, 18 months ago. All right. And so here, this is a, a um, reference design? Sure. This is our first reference design yeah. of U4500. So you can see the browsing. You will have a, a kind of a nice experience on this browsing. And you have a LCD, which yeah. is a wide VGA LCD. This is sampling right now, right? Yes, this is sampling now. Okay. And we expect to be in mass production at the very end of 2011. So it will be widely seen on the market in 2012. 2012. And uh, it's inside the tablets? It's going to be inside tablets as well? or No. So basically, the tablets uh, has a yeah. much bigger LCD, so need a much more horsepower to provide the proper experience. You know? right. So our uh, A9500, which is yeah. a higher-end solution, uh, will power up uh, our tablet going forward. So uh, will you have even lower uh, uh, entry range than the A9 single core for Android? So, uh, or is that going to be like the target for the entry? Today this is the target for the entry. Going forward, uh, we expect to, uh, to have a further uh, distribution of the, uh, of the smartphone experience. But we expect the level of performance to be in the similar order. However, to bring that even more mass to the mass market. All right. <coughs> so, uh, looking forward. Uh, what does it say here? Uh, what, is, what is that analytics going on here? You expect that it's going to be more than half the, the market in 2015? For sure. Very strong growth is expected in the smartphones, uh, but not all people on Earth can buy an uh, iPhone, you know? Yeah. So uh, today, the smartphones are limited in the fairly high-end segments, yeah. uh, but going forward, uh, we know that a big part of the growth is going to go downwards. So we expect the people to, uh, to have the same need for the experience, uh, but to uh, really go to the 1.6 billion phones which are sold like yeah. these years, you know, to, to go to a high percentage of that, we need to, uh, to go to a much lower price points uh, to enable a wide distribution of these fantastic devices. So some of the, the, the low-end Android phones that are already on the market are like ARM 11, something like that, and ST Ericsson has powering some of them as well? So uh, today we power some of the low-end Android smartphones. You have some of them over there, yeah. you can see. Uh, but uh, these one are uh, today low-end smartphones. Yeah. Our goal here is to provide the same experience as Nexus One, but at similar price points at the low-end smartphone of today. All right. Thanks a lot.